Well, you know, I, we don't get caught up in numbers. I, I really don't. You know, back when we talked, I guess, in training camp, everybody said, well, how many plays a game you want to run because you're high tempo? I, we don't worry about number of plays. We don't worry about passing yardage. I, I don't know. Maybe it's old age or whatever, but I, I just don't get caught up in numbers. I, I really don't. The bottom line that I've learned in 33 years of doing, is, doing this is that our team's got to have one more point than their team. And I think if you approach it like that, it gives you a uh, kind of a method of one day at a time. What's, we talk about all the time. What's the most important day? Today's practice. Okay? And, 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 you, and one game at a time. Every game is a big game, especially in the Gulf South Conference. I mean, the GSC is the SEC of Division II football. And, uh, and that's evident by the standings right now. Everybody beats up on each other. And so, uh, so yeah, I mean, we, I guess people nowadays in the media and stuff talk about high-octane offense and all. I, I don't know about all that. I just know that we've got a bunch of guys that here, – here's the bottom line. We're never, ever going to be the biggest, the fastest, nor the strongest. <laughs> I get choked up talking about our kids. I'm sorry. But – they come to play and work every day. And if the people outside of this program really knew how much fun they are to be around every day, they're, they're a blast. We don't have discipline problems, you know, and, and kids do what's asked of them. They're just, you know, it's rewarding and it's fun. It's really fun to be around our guys. It's a team game, you know. Charles Anthony and I have been doing this a long time. And, and it all starts at the top. we got tremendous leadership from Todd Cooley. And he lets two old ball coaches kind of do our thing, you know. And uh, But it's like me and Charles say all the time, he doesn't have to tackle nobody and I don't have to block nobody, thank goodness. Kids just do what they're asked to do and, and uh, they take coaching and we coach them hard. I mean, we coach them hard on the practice field and they respond and, and therefore they play hard in a football game. Well, we all have dreams and goals. But, uh, you know, when we start out, when we brought in 63 new faces, coming off a tough year last year. But again, you know, to be sitting here in November with a win over Valdosta and, uh, and be all of us knotted up for first place this late in the year, we wanted to be there, but we just had to take it a day at a time. You know, I guess as an old country boy would say, who'd ever thunk it? <laughs> just a great staff and a bunch of great kids. What I'm really proud of most of, and I heard it so much now because I saw a bunch, a bunch of guys on my way back and forth to the press box that played here at Delta State, wore the green hat. And uh, I'm kind of like they are. That's why I came back here. There's a special thing about this place. It's a proud school. It's a proud program. There's so much tradition. And it, I, I'm just privileged and tickled to death to be a part of getting a chance to bring this program back to where it needs to be and it always will be. And, uh, and that was reflected with all the kids that I saw here that, that have played for me over the years here. And it's just, it's a special place.